Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix Chinese characters shown on your Windows home screen or log on screen or whatever you want to call it. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to do is just ensure that you do have the correct language settings set within Windows. So we can check this by right clicking on the start menu icon, go into settings. Once you're on settings, you now need to select time and language and you then need to just make sure set the time automatically is on on not on off once you've done that the next thing that we're going to want to do is go on to region here and you need to make sure you have your country selected so you can see i've got united kingdom there and then my recommended is english united kingdom once you've checked all that go ahead and select language now you need to ensure that all these here these five options all say your language so you can see I've got English, 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 English. Below, we got Windows Display Language, and that's also English. So you just want to make sure that's selected. Now below, you can see that I've got English United Kingdom, and then English United States. So what you can actually do here is remove a language, but you will need two languages on here. So if you're English, then I'd suggest you install United Kingdom and United States by clicking on add a language. So once you've got the two, go ahead and select the one that's not your default. So if I want to reinstall United Kingdom, I just need to click on the down arrow and then I need to click on remove. You can now see that language has been removed and it's selected United States. I now need to click on add a language and I then need to type in United Kingdom and you can then see United Kingdom is there. So again, if I select that and go next, and then if I go install, you can choose what you want to install. Obviously select set as my Windows display language. Go ahead and click on install, and there we go. That's now reinstalled the language in case something went wrong with the files onto my computer. Now go ahead and restart your computer and see if that resolved the problems you've been having. Now before we go any further, I just want to show you a program that I created called Easy System Utility. Now this is a program that allows you to do all sorts of things within Windows. So here you can see you can clean cache files and temporary files and things like that on a Windows computer, which I will add more locations and also software. Folders and files has many different options you can see there, unlock files, folders, change image sizes, watermarks, add watermarks, swimages, rename folders and stuff. And then basically as you can see on the left hand side menu here, there are also many other different options available in Easy System Utility. Now if you're interested in trying out the program that I created, then click on the link that's in the description below. Now the next thing that we need to do to fix the Chinese symbol shown on the Windows login is to right click on the start menu icon and go to settings. Now you need to click on update and security. Go ahead and click on, well if you've got an error like I have there, go ahead and click on check for updates or retry and then install the latest Windows updates. So you can see there, they're trying to install apart from this error, which I need to fix at some point. Anyway, if updating Windows didn't help resolve the issue, then the next thing you need to do is scroll down and then click on view update history. Now you need to click on uninstall updates. The next thing you need to do is just toggle installed on so you've got the latest update at the top. And now go ahead and see what the most recent update was that you installed. So for example here I've got an update that's KB5033918. So this could potentially be the update that started causing the Chinese characters to appear on my computer. So what I would do is select that update and then click on uninstall and just uninstall the most recent update from your Windows computer. Just make a backup of any important files before doing this, although nothing should go wrong, but it's just important to do that. So uninstall the most recent update and then try using Windows again and see if that resolved the problem you're having. Now that does unfortunately bring me to the end of this video. There's not a lot else that you can do to resolve the issue other than wait for Microsoft to release an update that resolves it. Now if you did like this video, click the like button below. And if you do want to see more computer sluggish videos, then click the subscribe button. 